Hey everybody, welcome to this third tutorial video in the series on how to use Pixlr E. This video is all about layers, and layers are a really important concept to understand when you're doing graphic design or using any sort of graphic manipulation program. Um, Photoshop uses layers, but Pixlr E has a, a way that makes it really easy to control your layers as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to use some pictures that I put on the class website. So if you want to follow along with me, go ahead and go to a new tab and go to the class website. Uh, and in the menu, click on arts appreciation. And down here, you'll see that I've put uh, like a sky background with an airplane. And we're going to open these in Pixlr as uh, two different layers of the same project. So let's start by trying the load URL feature. So I'm just going to two finger click on the sky and go copy image address and come back over here to Pixlr and click load URL and paste that in and hit load and it loaded for me. Now, something that I've noticed is sometimes that load URL feature doesn't work. It says like it's not working for some reason. And if that's true, you can always just two finger click and go save image as and save it to your computer or to your drive. Uh, for example, for you, you click here and then click on Google Drive and you'll save it there and then you can import it easily that way. Um, so if it didn't work for you, this happened to work for me this time. But so now I have um, my background put right here. And we're going to take, we're going to be focusing on this layers panel that you can see over here on the right hand side. Now you'll probably see it. Let me just restore it to uh, the way you probably see it. So there are actually three panels by default set over here on the right hand side. The layers panel, this middle one is the one we want to work with. I tend not to even really use this navigate panel. So I just close out of it and that gives me a little more space for my layers panel. But you can keep it there if you want to. So the layers panel lists your layers right here in this open gray space. And then down here, it gives you a couple of controls. You can delete a layer, you can duplicate a layer, you can add a layer. And then it'll also give you all these different kinds of layers that you can add. Um, we want to add an image layer to this project. We want to add the airplane flying in the sky. So I'm going to click on add image. And um, actually, let me try the load URL first. It did not give me an option to load URL here. So I'm going to go up to the layer uh, in the top menu. And this gives you a lot of the same layer controls that you have over here. Same thing, just in a different place. But this actually has an, an additional option of add URL as layer. So I'm going to go back to my class site and copy the URL of this airplane. And I'm going to paste it here. And we'll see if it works. Oh, this is what I was talking about. It says something went wrong when loading the image. Please try again later. And that sometimes happens when you're trying the load URL feature. If that happens, let's just do this. Like I was saying, I'm going to two finger click, save image as, and I'll just save it here. Um, for me, it's in my downloads, but you can put it in your Google Drive. Hit save. And now I'll come back here to Pixlr and just go plus image and it's right there. And I'll click open. And now I brought that image in as a new layer. So now you can see I have two layers in my layers panel. I've got my background layer, which is my sky, and my image, or this other layer, which is the airplane. Now this uh, airplane was by default made with a transparent background so that it's not all white. You can see the sky from behind it. Um, so now let's talk about a couple of different things that you can control over here in this layers panel. The first thing I want to show you is this little button right here. This is controlling um, how the how manipulatable or how changeable the layers are. So you can see that the background, it automatically set it to be locked. That means that any tool that I do over here, if I run it around on this background, it's not going to change the background layer at all. It's locked. It can just not be changed at all. If I, for some reason, want to change my background, like let's say I want to make these clouds fluffy, or maybe I want to make there be fewer clouds in the sky, I can unlock this by clicking on the lock. And now it is unlocked, and I can manipulate this background if I want to. If I want to lock it back up again, you can actually two finger click or right click if you're using a mouse on any layer, and you'll get this little uh, set of options. And you can see here, you can change it from unlocked back to locked and now it's locked again. You can also hide a layer. I can click hidden right here, and now you can't see it either. It's still there, but it's hidden, and now you can only see the transparent uh, background. So I'm going to make it visible, and I'm also going to unlock it. 
because I'll, I'll show you how um, you can edit a background, but, but not edit the, the, what, the top layer, or you can edit the top layer, but not the background. Um, but the other thing I wanted to show you is the order of your images. So in this layers panel here, you can see that my airplane layer is higher up or comes first. That means that it's further forward in the layer of images. But let's say that I took this background image and I clicked and hold, held on it and I moved it up. Now look what happened to my airplane. I'm not seeing it anymore. That's because basically I took my background and I put it further forward than the airplane. And since this is not a transparent background, I can't see my airplane at all. So keep that in mind. You can always mess around with your layers and move them further forward or further back. And when you get to a, a place where you have lots of different objects going on and you want some objects to be in front of other objects, use that to help you move things around further forward and backward in your picture. So let's now talk about active layers. Um, if, you've, if you're like me, you're gonna sometime try to uh, edit an image and you're gonna try and use one of these tools here, like, hey, let's say I want to erase. I'm gonna use the eraser here. And, um, and I'm, I click on the eraser and nothing's happening. Why isn't it letting me erase anything? It's actually telling me a message up here. You can only erase from image layers, select another layer. I don't have any image, uh, any layer active right now. So I can't use a tool on it. So let me just choose my airplane for a second. And I want to, maybe I want to erase part of my airplane because I don't want it to be visible. Maybe I don't want this engine to show up on here. So I click my eraser, I make sure my airplane is active and I start erasing. Now you can see here that I'm not erasing my clouds in the background, I'm only erasing the engine. That's a really, really powerful feature to be able to control which um, layer you're editing. I don't want my cloud background to be gone. Let's say I undid that though, and let's say I had my background selected, and now I have my eraser, and now I start doing some erasing. Now look what happens. I'm erasing over the airplane, but the airplane layer is not being affected at all. Only the clouds are being erased. So you can see here, whichever layer is active is the layer that's gonna be affected by your tool that you're using over here. The reason I want you to understand that partly is to save you some frustration. I've definitely had times when I was first starting out with graphic editing and I was trying to use a tool and, and it wasn't working. I'm like, why isn't it erasing the thing I wanted to erase? It's just because I did not have the right layer selected over here, or maybe I had no layer selected at all. Um, so anyway, I'm going to undo my erasing here. So I have my airplane in the sky and let's talk about one final thing that you may want to, uh, do in terms of layers. Let's say that you want to combine two layers, like maybe for some reason, I don't want to um, be able to have, uh, edit these as separate anymore. So you can combine layers by, uh, right clicking on whichever layer you want to combine down. And then there's some different options here for blending your layers together. Um, and you can see here for blend mode, there are a whole bunch of different um, options here for, for the way that they'll look when they're blended together. Um, you can just click none. And if you click, the, click one of these merge down uh, layers, it'll just look just like this. But you can actually blend it with a mode like let's say I do like color burn and then I merge down, you can see how it sort of does a special effect when it blends them. And now I just have the one layer. That actually looks sort of cool. Um, so you can mess around with, with these uh, to see what they look like. You can also change the opacity of a layer. So if you want a layer to be somewhat see-through, you can, um, you know, right, uh, the, if the opacity is 100%, then it's not transparent at all. But you can make it somewhat see through by doing this as well. And now that layer, you can sort of see the other layer behind it. So there's a lot you can do here um, with your with your layers. And I encourage you to try um, playing with with this and making a project that has multiple layers, so you can mess around with them.